Hi, this is Tablet Technologies and we're going to take a look at the Conquer NX8 tablet with capacitive screen and compare it against the resistive screen version. So traditionally we've sold the Conquer NX8 with a resistive screen and now as demand increases for capacitive we've implemented a capacitive touch solution on the NX8 and we're offering both solutions so that customers can choose which suits their application needs and users as well as the environment. So we take a look at the devices physically first of all and show you how the screens differ, show you how the touch differs and as we go along we'll discuss some of the pros and cons of each implementation. So this is the capacitive device in front of us and instead of coming with a resistive stylus which would be uh, this one here which fits in the back of the device and has a fine pointed tip to it uh, we provide instead a capacitive stylus so still tetherable still fits in the slot on the back of the device but has what many of you I'm sure will be familiar with and that's a, a rounded slightly squashy tip this is because what a capacitive screen is doing is put an electric field across the screen that the grounding potential of the human body breaks and so that grounding, that electrical potential has to go up the pen and that's why a regular stylus doesn't work. So on a capacitive screen we can work with our finger and we can work perfectly well with a capacitive stylus but a resistive stylus or any other implement that isn't designed for a capacitive screen will not work. So we take a look close up and the way that we've finished the screen we're really quite satisfied with. So you have an edge to edge glass effect coming right up to the bezel at the edge of the device. And that follows all the way around so that you've got an edge to edge glass effect all the way around the screen so that you can do what you're supposed to be able to do in Windows 8 for example and that's slide in very easily from the right hand side. Uh, the clarity of the screen with optical bonding we're very very satisfied with got very high brightness on the device brightness at the moment is down quite low to assist the camera because if we take it up it will uh, overburn the, the camera exposure if we compare that with resistive you'll see that the screen on a, a resistive tablet is traditionally recessed not greatly recessed on the NX8 there's this border that fits in around the plastic perimeter you see how that differs slightly. Both devices are compatible with Windows 7 and Windows 8 so there's no issue with operating system compatibility. Now it's technically true that capacitive offers a greater optical clarity than resistive and seeing these two devices side by side I would say that is slightly true. It's not a huge difference but it is just about noticeable with two identical screens. So the optical clarity is greater on capacitive. However, resistive does offer some significant benefits. You most definitely can still use your finger. However, if you're not used to resistive screens and you're used to using a capacitive screen with quite a soft touch, then some people find that a resistive screen is a little under-sensitive. Those of us used to a resistive screen are used to using a little more of the tip of the finger rather than the pad in order to get a better contact, even going on to the nail. But the real advantage is that you can use the stylus, not only the one that we've provided, but any implement at all will work on the screen. And that will give you greater accuracy without blocking the area that you're trying to touch. So if you're trying to pick up a small handle or press a small icon on the screen in Windows, that's not only more difficult with capacitive due to about a quarter of the touch accuracy, but also more difficult because your finger is covering the area that you want to touch, of course, a limitation you don't have when you're using a mouse. Resistive gives you that accuracy of touch because you're holding an implement that you can see the fine tip end point of. Additionally, because you don't have to touch it with your finger, this means that you can work with gloves, and it really doesn't matter how thick that glove is, because the screen is responding to pressure, you can use any glove. Now, one frequently overlooked limitation of capacitive screens is that because they work through electrical impedance, they're not very compatible with water. Water and electricity obviously don't mix. On a resistive screen, however, this is absolutely no issue because the resistive screen is not working with an electric field. That means that on a resistive screen, not only can you work with a few water droplets on the screen, but you can in fact work with the screen completely and utterly drenched in water. And you see that I can still drag an area here on the screen. I can press the start menu. I can bring up a sticky note. I can drag that around the screen 
because of the accuracy I can easily grab the corner of that note and I can write on that note with perfect accuracy also without getting my finger wet so we can work outdoors in the rain with resistive without any difficulty at all and that is the big advantage of a resistive screen along with being able to use any stylus the accuracy of that stylus and being able to work with gloved hands as well in contrast however capacitive screens struggle with water they see the water as false touches on the screen and make it very difficult to use the screen so at the moment the screen is dry we have no problem navigating the operating system moving things around sweeping zooming etc etc once we introduce water to the screen we'll have a little bit more difficulty so you see that first of all the screen is responding as though it's being touched although it can't really tell where because it hasn't got the accuracy of a single point touch rather there is touch all over the screen which means that you now can't work confidently and if the water goes all over the screen it's just going to make it more and more difficult you can see that the more touch points that the screen allows and from memory I believe that this allows about 10 touch points then it thinks it's happening all over the place at once of course you can wipe the screen and try and solve the problem but if you're working outside in the wet ultimately you're going to fall foul of full functionality and even if we wipe it over and leave some dampness on the screen it's not enough it needs to be close to dry So you see we're just about getting functionality back but it's still not as satisfactory as when it's dry. So that's the difference between resistive and capacitive touch on the Conquer NX8. Capacitive is becoming increasingly popular due to people being familiar with capacitive touchscreens because it's what they're used to using on Apple products and all consumer mobile phones and if you're working indoors the screen is beautiful the experience is nice and it's a great screen experience our preferred approach however remains resistive for more industrial applications for being able to be used with accuracy with a stylus for being able to be used when wet and with gloved hands the choice is yours we now offer both so you can choose which suits your environment best if you have any questions please get in contact with us and visit www.tablettechnologies.com thanks for watching